Hey, this is David from Espresso Tech to give you another rocket maintenance video, changing the group gasket. Now, this also applies to the CM machines. Basically, any machine that's E61 group head, very famous, developed by FEMA. So, when do you need to change the group gasket? Well, one of the most obvious things is if it starts to leak around the porter filter handle, then you know it's time to change the gasket. Or you can preemptively pull it up like this. I uh, have my jacket rolled up underneath this, but use a towel or a pillow, something like that, because you want to use, you want to do this, it's going to be a lot easier if you have the machine at an angle. You will notice, unlike most other espresso machines that have a screw holding it into the group head or the diffuser, E61 group head actually uses a compression fit on the gasket to hold the screen in. So you have to take the screen off as well. So rather than try to pry the gasket out, oh, one more thing, when you know the gasket needs changing, if you touch that with your finger or you flat it screwdriver or something, and if it's not pliable, if you can't push into it with a little bit of cushion, if it's very hard and vulcanized, then you definitely know it's time to replace it. The sooner you replace it, the better. If you leave it in for too long, it's gonna get very, very hard and just be more and more difficult to get out and can actually cause some corrosion in the brass. So what you need for this particular operation, you want a wide flat head screwdriver. The reason being is as long as you have one of these screens, if you have one of the old style ones that has the little metal circular thing in there, then you basically have to destroy the screen in order to take it out. But this particular screen, the one that we sell on our website, and the one that comes standard in rocket machines has a little lip on the inside edge of the gasket that you just, my hand's probably in the way, but there you go. You just gently pull it out and you can see, even though this is a new machine that we're just using around our store, you can get dirty pretty quickly. So you take out the gasket, screen, separate it like this. Next thing you're gonna do is clean the group head. So, if it's really dirty, first thing you should do before you use any clean detergent or water is actually get in there with like a little dental pick, something like this, and get underneath this group head ring because that's actually where the coffee's gonna stick the most. So you wanna go around, clean that out as much as you can. Now you can flush this out with water. I like to use a vacuum cleaner. It just works really well. And then after that, you want to take some espresso machine detergent or you can use a little industrial degreaser basically if you really water it down. It actually takes off oil great. Or you can just use some of the standard espresso machine detergent to clean this group head as well. You take this out, well, you see it gets pretty dirty in the inside pretty quick. So I would soak that in some hot water and detergent too. Put that off to the side. Um, new screen. It is a slightly larger than eight millimeter gasket. So this is the, the rocket gasket, slightly larger than eight millimeters. When you buy it off our site, we always give you a 0.5 millimeter group spacer just in case to provide that perfect fit. But you can use as an alternate if you know that your group head's a little, a little more worn or a little deeper, depending on what machine you have. Like I say, 61 common group head on different machines. You can get the standard 8.5 millimeter gasket. Next thing you're gonna do before you clean it is actually I'm gonna show you how to take this diffuser out because it can get quite clogged underneath that diffuser as well. So it's brass. It's actually quite soft. So you don't just want to go in there and, and twist away with you know say a flathead screwdriver like this. You're gonna need something a little bit wider. So if you have a very wide screwdriver, then fine, that works well. What I'm gonna do in this particular case is I'm just gonna grab a little set of pliers to loosen it up that way, right? So once it's loose, it's pretty easy to take out. Now that that's done, go ahead, put this in your detergent, clean it as well. So now you, if it's really dirty, I recommend you take like a soft sort of copper brush or something. Just clean it off like that. After you've cleaned this diffuser, you can also just 
brush that clean as well. Important, there's a couple holes in here, right? So you wanna make sure this is clean as well. Okay, get some dispressor machine detergent. It's gonna do a lot better job getting it at the group gasket, clean it all up. Put the diffuser back in. Just get a slight little tighten. You don't have to really tighten it, just a little bit. Now we're gonna put the new gasket and screen in. I'm just gonna put the spacer in, just to show you. So what you want to do is slide that spacer in first. Okay, then you want to put this gasket inside the screen. The beveled edge, the rounded edge, always goes up. Flat edge is always going to be what seals against the porter filter. So you slide that in like that. Whether or not you use the spacer, obviously optional. Now, because it's a compression gasket, you're gonna have to push this gasket in all the way. Sometimes it's a little difficult. I don't recommend you use something flat. Mark the group gasket. It's better to get something uh, blunt rather than sharp. Push it all around. Go around in a circle a couple times. Turn the machine on while it's... Okay, put it down now. There you go, we got a nice tight fit. You notice that I put, after putting in the little spacer, very straight.